Hi, it's me Shula here and I just wanted to make a quick video to give you a rundown of the best salsa shoes to buy for beginners. Uh, there are a lot of different styles on the market and if you go to any local salsa club you'll see that people are wearing a variety of different uh, designs of shoe, different types of dance shoe. Uh, some people actually do wear normal street shoes but from my experience proper dance shoes are definitely worth investing in. Uh, the main reason is their soles are designed to give you the right combination of slip and grip so they'll give you some traction but they'll still allow your feet to spin and turn and slide enough so you don't hurt your knees and create torque on your joints. And that's really important. You want to dance safely and without causing yourself an injury. So if you are thinking of making that all important first purchase, this video will be just what you need. So we're going to start out with the type of shoe that's probably the most popular because they're very easy to get hold of and they're probably the most reliably comfortable shoes as well. So this is what we call a split sole jazz shoe. You'll see it's very soft and flexible. You can get them in real leather or synthetic leather. They can be lace up or you can also get them with elastic inserts as well. And the most important thing about this is that you'll see, this is why it's called a split sole. We've got the heel section back here and then the sole itself, which can be rubber or suede. I always recommend suede because they work much better on wooden floors, which mostly is what we dance on. And you'll see this has got a very small pad on the forefoot, so this is why it's called a split sole. And this means that it moulds to your feet really well, and it's really useful when you're learning how to roll through your foot and get the proper technique. So this is a full sole jazz shoe. Again, leather or synthetic upper. You can get lace up or you can get them with like an elastic insert which allows them to kind of stretch and mould to your foot. And this one you'll see has got the sole that runs the full length of the shoe. I actually prefer these. I find they give me a little bit more support. But on the other side of things, the, the split sole jazz shoe molds to your foot a lot more. It's softer, more flexible, so if you want to feel really grounded and into the floor, and especially if you're practicing turns and spins and you want maximum stability, then split soles are great for that. So this is a practice ballroom and Latin shoe. Again, very widely used by salsa teachers for teaching and social practice, as well as classes. You'll see again, it's got a full sole. This one's made of real leather. You can get them in synthetic materials as well. Normally lace up and I'll just show you this one, which is exactly the same kind of thing, but this is a split sole version. You'll see very soft and flexible and you can get these in all sorts of funky designs and different color fabrics. So this is more of like a fabric material. This is a classic ladies Latin sandal, nice and strappy at the front. Again, you've got a little bit of flexibility in the sole, but not so much that it's going to fall apart and wear out within five minutes. This is probably just over a two inch heel, which is a nice height for beginners because if you're not used to wearing heels, you'll find that you probably are a little bit unstable to begin with. And certainly if you're not used to heels, or even if you are, if you're wearing too high, then they will slow you down. You will feel a little bit more vulnerable and unstable. So this is a nice height to start out with. Some people prefer closed toe designs. Personally, I prefer the open toes. I feel that when my toes spread, it helps my balance. So uh, you probably won't see me in a closed toe sandal with a heel. 
uh, actually a nice compromise is something like this. These Latin style boots have become really popular over the last few years because they are really supportive and you'll see it's got a little peep toe but not a completely open toe. My only piece of advice if you go for something like this you'll, you'll see it's got a zip up back. My main advice if you're going for a boot style is get something which has either got elastic across the front or some kind of lacing so you can adjust the fit. Otherwise you're stuck with whatever <laughs> width the shoe is made in. Uh, this because of the elastic, it fits my foot perfectly. It's a really lovely shoe. Uh, again about 2.2 inches, so really nice heel for social dancing and the zip up fastening at the back. And again as always you've got, well, mine's a bit knackered now, but you've got that suede sole to give you that traction but also the spinniness so you can turn. This is another version of a ladies latin sandal which is great for starting out. Again you've got the low heel, one inch heel with a sort of very sturdy stable block heel. Uh, these have been worn to death so they've kind of nearly had it. <laughs> very flexible sole and just that little strappy design on the front. But this again would be a great pair for a lady to start off in because you'll be close to the ground, you'll feel that you can learn the steps and turn and spin with ease without feeling too unstable. But they still look nice and elegant on the foot. When you buy your shoes, it's really worth having a look at the undersole and just making sure that the sole and the heel are level and on the same plane. I bought shoes before and not having paid attention to this, when I got them home I realised when I put them on my feet that I was really unstable in them and they didn't work for me at all because the heel or the sole was wonky. Sometimes it's because the shank is twisted and sometimes it's because the heel has just been glued on incorrectly and it really will interfere with your balance. So do have a look like this, just line up with your eyes and just check that the sole and the heel are both flat and level. You can thank me later. For men, there are classic ballroom shoes which are just like a normal kind of formal dress shoe but with a suede sole. They're really, really popular. Dance trainers bridge the gap between normal kind of fashion leisure shoes and dance shoes and they do have the advantage that you can wear them outside because they have a plastic sole. You would never want to do that to your suede sole shoes because the minute suede gets wet it dies. That's it. Game over. <laughs> so if you really want something that you can just chuck on your feet and then walk out and about down the street with to save you bringing out an extra pair of shoes to change into, then dance trainers are the way to go. Again, they are available at various different price points. Uh, you just have to get online and have a look. But some very funky colours and styles are available. And as the dance shoe shops are catching up with the current fashion trends, I'm sure the choice will continue to expand more and more. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any other questions about buying dance shoes or need a little bit more advice or pointing in the right direction, please feel free to reach out and I will see you soon.